One, two, three. 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 Everybody ready? Yeah! One, two, three. You gonna make everybody run? One, two, three. Nice. 25 jummy jacks. Ready? And everybody count together. Follow with me. So we go. Ready and one. Dad, we're here at, um, at Lakeside High. I am from Ashtabula, Ohio, and um, I've been a part of the uh, Ashtabula sports program in high school, and I thought of this a great opportunity to, to partner with USA Football and the NFL Foundation to bring football back, a clinic, back to Ashtabula just to show the very fundamentals of playing the game. There's been a lot about a lot of talk about concussions. So uh, the NFL is trying to put forth an effort to really re-educate the parents, the kids, about playing the game and making it as safe as possible. And it starts from the beginning when you start playing. There, there is a lot of talk recently, hasn't there? Especially high school, they're talking about kids' bodies haven't developed enough to take some of the rigors of football. And can that be handled just by techniques or whatever? What what it can what what this is the effort is is you want to play it as safe as you can. If you play, it's probably you're going to have some type of injury. All we want to do is make sure that you have the fundamentals of playing it as safe as possible, and that's what makes it more fun to play when you know you're doing the right things. Mm -hmm. You know we, we have a heads up program. Every coach out here that's coaching today had to go through a uh, NFL coaching certification. So, and learning on how to deal with players when they're uh, in heat, with uh, techniques, with proper techniques of, hand, uh, of catching football, running with football, of tackling, and being safe. Who will be the next person to go to the NFL next year? I hope you are telling the truth. And I'm going to tell you something right now. It is possible. It is possible. But it will take hard work. And we start today. How many kids do you have going to this today? One. One? How old is he? He's eight. So has he always been interested in football? Oh, yeah. yeah. So do you kind of encourage that? Sure do. He plays a small team, uh -huh. like a youth team in the fall. So would well, you like this opportunity? To it's a great opportunity for him to come and work with some of the older kids. And well, I also understand there's an emphasis on safety and how to be safe through your years of football. So that, that kind of appeal to you also as a mother? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, they just have got your brown son, Jewish game. We what 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 we're doing now is what, what I tried to do is say okay with the I gave, opened it up to all the coaches here in the Asheville area. So a lot of the uh, actual coaches who will be helping me are from our current coaching staff at high school. So, uh, and like I said, they did have to go through a program and a certification to be a coach at the camp. Um, did you do this other places? Or? I, I have done this in the past uh, as one of the coaches, you know, where, where other players or other retired players have camps. They have been called and asked me to come. And, uh, so I have done it many, many, many times. Um, but with this new program with USA Football, the partnership with putting the players in USA Football together, this is like the first.
sure that they're doing. So you play football now, where do you play? Um, in Asheville at Winter Field. You like football? Yeah. So you're anxious to learn some new stuff today? Mm -hmm. uh, with an NFL, former NFL player? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Hey, this is my grandson. How are you? Nice to meet you too. How's everything? My mother still lives here. My uh, stepfather just passed away uh, a couple of years ago. So um, we and and I have some uh, niece and nephew that's with my mom. But they just turned 17 years old. They they are here at Lakeside. They go to Lakeside and they participate in the football program and the sports program. So I just been doing time. You're talking all about outside of football, they think, because you seem to. I'm trying to. You uh, went to high school here, you got your degree, you got your master's degree. You seem to have like a backup plan for it when, when your NFL career ended. Well, I, uh, you know, actually, that, that's true. And the reason why I, I got all those my degrees is because I didn't really want to play professional football from the very beginning. I, I, I went to college because I, I got the scholarship and I loved to play the game. But it wasn't guaranteed that I was going to play football. I, it's a rough sport, but it's a rough sport, and when I uh, was blessed to have the talent to, to be drafted in the first round, it's a business, and, and it doesn't last long, just like myself when I got injured. So I always knew that from the beginning. So before I even started, I knew that I wanted to do something in business. Um, so I'm in, I am in entertainment. I live, it's fortunate that I retired with the Los Angeles Raiders, so I was in Los Angeles. So there was opportunity for entertainment came up and um, so when I moved back to New York and then 10 years later I moved back to New York, uh, California and now I'm in California since 2002 and, and I'm entertainment, it's great, it's going very well, you know, acting is hard but uh, most things are. <laughs> you have like a production company? Or? Yeah, I have a production company called Bunch Time Productions and actually um, First productions that that we will be the predominant and main production company. The first production is about retired players oh. and coming back to their to their hometown and everything. So we may do a little bit of uh, just background filming at today's event oh. that will you know just give us a little more information about what the show is going to be about. But it will be about. This is a TV. It's a TV show, a TV project. I'm doing it with uh, Peter Berg. So um, it's 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 a uh, you know it's it's promising it's 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 a really you know it's like a reality it's it is a reality thing it's about actually going back to your hometown like <laughs> like I'm him right and and seeing some of the things that you uh, the changes from when you were there and to now. Tell me about the changes here since when you graduated like the early nineties. I don't know eighties eighty six yeah eighty six. Oh. <laughs> 86 and uh, the, well the big change was the high schools yeah. combining and this gorgeous facility that they had you know the stadium the field the school the auditorium the auditorium you know uh, we didn't have that we didn't have a program that was a football program that was pretty much it was non-existent uh, we didn't have a, a locker uh, we didn't have a weight room um, but now I think they're on the right track. I think that things are moving in the right direction. My nephew, who's a sophomore, will be a junior next year. I think that class is has a lot of promise, and I think they have a lot of, uh, of talent. So I think that uh, it's a great time to do the camp, you know. Mm -hmm. And we're starting starting at the young age, and and, and, and what I've found from doing camps all over.
works together all the way through yeah. junior high, high school, you know? So, right. and I, here in Asheville, I don't think they do that. And I think they should start trying to do a little bit. That's why I'm starting with this age group. Trying so you think you'll come back maybe next year? I would love to, you know? It, 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 I'm t I say that it's all about the participation. It's the people show that they want it, you know? And you show you want it by showing up, participating, you know? bigger this is, and the NFL would put all kinds of support. We'll have, we would have retired players, regular players, you know, current players coming out. They want to have the support, but you gotta show it. You gotta show it. You want it. Doing here, we're here to help out the little kids with the camera and just. Yeah. Is that important? Yes, it's so that they can learn the fundamentals of football, so they know, so they know not to get hurt and they know the right way to play football. Do you have something like this when you were their age? No, we didn't. Would you have liked to have? Yeah, just so we can learn the fundamentals of football. Like some of us today still don't know the fundamentals of football, so having this organization this just coming here would help us a lot and having a former NFL player doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt it, kind of, it just benefits us one, one more question I'll let you go Quentin Tarantino tell me about working with him it was uh, I love it was uh, it was a it was really a fun movie to watch it was a fun movie it was a great experience to you know the we're talking about Django and Chain, Django, Django and Chain yeah. which I, I shot two months in New Orleans for uh, Shot with you know, with Leonardo DiCaprio, Jamie Fox, Samuel Jackson, all friends. I mean, we we spent time together on the weekends. We would watch you, you know, all kinds of things on the weekends. There was no egos on the set. You know, with those guys, you know, right. A-list actors. Sure. There could be. There was none. Uh -huh. There was no ego in, in, in uh, all the movies. I've done about 30 films. This was the easiest to get. You know, to get the job done. And it could have very easily been the worst because uh -huh. it was the one that had the most, you know, A-list actors in it. But it was a great experience. Uh, what came out, they, they, it, their first edit was five hours. <laughs> what, what ended up in the movie was only two, two something. So uh, all of my, not all of mine, but most of my scenes were cut out. So uh, if you blink, you might, <laughs> you might miss me now. But I had a, a, a great. But I still finished, got on the, on the so I still did my residual stuff, so happy about that. <laughs> <laughs>